السلام عليكم شباب شلونكم صحتكم ان شاء الله بخير شباب بالنسبه للكتاب الورك بوك كتاب الهدوي مقسم الى اجزاء مقسم الى الستودنت بوك والتيشر بوك وورك بوك فهذا الورك كتاب مهم جدا وبي مفردات وبي اساليب وبالكثير من القواعد وبالكثير من التكست النصوص القطع فهذا الكتاب يهمنا ويهمكم كثير يعني تعلم به طرق عديدة يعني تعلم به كلمات تعلم به cultures how to how to know the other cultures of the nations يعني ثقافات الأمم الأخرى Uh, about their daily lives, uh, about uh, their main jobs. Uh, you know, guys, jobs uh, are different from one country into another. Uh, this depends on the nature of this country. Okay? Let's start with this uh, text, guys. Let's listen and then together. Unit 2, Exercise 7, Reading Text The Eurostar Train Driver Brian Law is a train driver for Eurostar. He drives high-speed trains in England and in Europe. Brian works four days a week. Sometimes he's free at the weekend, but usually he works on Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday are very busy days for Eurostar because everybody wants to go on holiday or go home for the weekend. Eurostar runs every day, but it doesn't run on Christmas Day. The first train to Paris leaves London at 5.25 in the morning, so Brian starts work at 4.30. In one day, he does two or three journeys between London and Paris. He finishes work at 12 noon. Sometimes he starts late at 4 p.m. and works until 11.30 at night. Sometimes he doesn't go home at the end of the day. He stays in Paris. The journey takes two hours 15 minutes and the train travels at 300 kilometers per hour. It doesn't go so fast in the tunnel. It only goes at 160 kilometers per hour when it travels through the tunnel. It carries 794 passengers. When the train is in France, Brian speaks to his controllers in French. His French is very good. He has a lot of French friends, and his son, Toby, goes to stay with them in Paris. Brian earns £45,000 a year. In his free time, he likes going out with his wife, Angela, and walking their dogs. Angela is a chef, so she works at weekends too. She has Monday free and goes walking with Brian. He has 25 days of holiday a year. Where does he go on holiday? France, of course, says Brian. Okay, after we hear uh, uh, what... Uh, okay, after we listen to the text, the Eurostar train driver, uh, okay, we'll discuss later. Uh, this, uh, this exercise number uh, one in here. Exercise number one. Read about train driver Brian Law. Are the sentence true or false? Correct the false sentences. Uh, also, exercise uh, the other exercise. Complete the sentences. Brian usually works on Friday and Saturday, okay? These two exercises uh, we are going to discuss uh, <coughs> later, 
Okay, guy. Please check this uh, text. I understand it to be discussed later. Together, we will discuss the exercise together and understand the new words and understand what we learned in here. Okay, guys, let's move to unit four uh, to check the reading the text together. It's very interesting reading text. Uh, please uh, listen, guys. Or exercise six, reading text. The Malmaison Hotel, Oxford. If you want a hotel in the centre of the historic English city of Oxford. Try the Malmaison. The hotel is an old prison. The outside looks like an old building, but the inside is very modern. A lot of the hotel still looks like an old prison. The windows and doors, for example. The entrance and reception look like something from a horror film. There are 94 rooms. Many of the rooms are old cells. Three old cells make one big luxurious bedroom, and don't worry, they give you a key. The rooms are very comfortable and modern. There is a TV, CD and DVD player, free tea and coffee, and free internet access in every room. The bathrooms are beautiful, with a big bath and a huge shower. There is a fabulous bar on the third floor. The ceiling is very high. The windows are enormous, and the walls are black. There is a lot of interesting furniture and artwork to look at. Downstairs, there is a very good restaurant called the Brasserie, where the food is excellent and not too expensive. There is also a gym. The hotel is near all the university colleges and the beautiful Romantic River Isis. There are also more restaurants and bars nearby, and a lot of shops. It's the kind of hotel you don't want to leave. Okay, guys. Uh, and so we learned some new words on the new uh, information from this reading text. Okay, your job or uh, our job in general. To, okay, to do these exercises. Exercise number one here, read about the one maison hotel, underline the correct answer. This is your homework. I already told you. This is your homework. And uh, exercise number two, are the sentence, uh, sentences true? or false. Correct the false ones or the false sentences. Uh, okay. We get uh, the information from the reading text. Okay, you have, I sent you uh, the workbook uh, BDF a couple of days ago. And uh, you can watch uh, this uh, lecture or this video okay and to get more information this book is very very good book very good book uh, but i am deliberately uh, ignored some exercises because i think uh, such such exercises easier easy Yes, not difficult because I saw your level before I asked you some questions and from your answers from your I realized that yes, such exercises are not difficult and in order not to call your time and our time for example the present symbol or days of the week social expressions, we discussed these issues on the times, but other subjects here, 
not not so uh, yeah not so difficult so we have to save time guys because we have eight weeks as you know just eight weeks so we have to save time okay thank you guys and we'll see you later to discuss the reading text and reading other issues with you thank you so much